this is John. Let me show you what happened. So I bring this model into Substance Painter and I'm like, let's bake the mesh maps. So usually I bake the world space normals, the ambient occlusion, curvature, and position maps. I don't need the rest. So I let it bake, expecting a tasty cake. And guess what happens? Ay, Baba Sticky, I get total caca. Look at those dark shadows across the roof and on the other side. And I'm like, where the freak did this come from? Why is this always happening to me? So let's go back to Maya and see what's happening in there. You can do the same thing in 3D Studio Max or Blender or whatever you use for 3D modeling. So here we are in Maya and I've got the UV editor open and I'm checking out what's happening with the UVs. Usually this kind of problem happens when you've got UV shells overlapping each other. This model was automatically unwrapped and laid out. Usually that's good enough for low poly models, but it doesn't create really good UV sets. But at least usually they don't overlap each other. So I select the UV shells that have the shadows in the in Substance Painter and see what's going on in the UV editor. And look at that. Look at that. Freaking fragmented UV shells overlapping each other like a partial lunar eclipse. Okay, so no problem. I just select everything and do layout again, right? But no, layout can't handle the situation. We still got overlaps happening here and there. Look at, look at this. Freaking disgusting. This is a disgrace. I wouldn't serve these UVs to a dog. Okay, so what I did is I manually unwrapped the UVs for the big surfaces like the roofs and the walls and I oriented them the right way up and I let automatic unwrap handle the small surfaces like the frames and the windows and then just let layout put everything together into the 0-1 UV space. And then I just double checked the UV editor to make sure there are no more overlaps. So, now I export the model again as an FBX, and let's head over into Substance Painter. Now we are back in Substance Painter, and we've got the model with the shitty UV set again. So you've got to go to Edit Project Configuration, and select the FBX with the updated UVs. Holy mother of Google, look at that. It looks totally messed up because you're still using the old mesh maps. Time to do some bacon. Shake and bake. Shake and bake. And look at this beauty. This immaculate perfection. Oh, I just want to kiss it. So, in conclusion, I just want to say that's how you fix UV problems in Maya and Substance Painter. See ya.